time for the 24 hours of Spa. The age-old battle of Yamaha versus Suzuki. The fight is heating up. Who will take the crown? This is a battle of titans. Arguably, Suzuki are our strongest competitors. Well, they're the, as the current world champions, they, uh, they have the target on their back and we want what they have. So that's where the rivalry starts and I, I guess finishes, you know, you you want to be the world champions and they are the world champions. They got it done last year and, and we didn't get it done. You know, it's two factory teams and uh, of course we are completely different. I believe CERT is uh, one of the best team in history of endurance, but uh, we are Yardemaha and uh, for me we are more motivated and more hungry for the win. For me we have a better team. My teammates were amazing here so far and uh, also in Le Mans. And, I think if you just concentrate on ourselves and don't make any stupid mistakes, this race will be long and tough. I believe that we are ready to win, we are ready to, to take this trophy home. And uh, we, we are now have a great relationship inside the team. Uh, all the three riders are really working together. The team is working with us and we have all what it takes to, to win races and to win the championship. Well, the rivalry between um, Yacht and Sert has been there for quite a few years now. Victory is nothing without having tough opponents. So they, they in a way, the last, uh, last year and this year in Le Mans, they, uh, they kind of make victory taste better for us because they've, they've been so strong. Uh, I think the Yacht have always been a fast team and also the Sert have had many years and a lot of world titles and race wins. And you can see for the last few years, we're on the same sort of material, performance uh, and also tyres. Uh, I think uh, there's a lot of respect between us because we know each other really well now after battling quite a few times in the races. And uh, it's always interesting to see their pace in the races because they're extremely fast. For sure the Yamaha and the Honda and also the BMW are very strong uh, this year. Uh, all the riders are very fast, the pace is quite strong during all the race. So it's not like in the past where you could Relax a little bit during uh, some stint. Now you have to go uh, full attack in every moment. So it made the competition a lot uh, more difficult. Uh, we're lining up again this year and uh, obviously we've got to beat them, but let's not forget about the Honda and the BMW guys because uh, they're also part of that, 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 that front group. You know, so Cert are uh, the world champions. They've got number one on the bike and uh, yeah, it'd be nice to be able to force them to take that number one off their bike. It's qualifying for the 24 hours of Spa. The battle between Cert and Yacht begins now. Yamaha set the fastest lap of free practice. Can they grab pole position two? Or will another team spoil it for Yacht? BMW of Mikhail Chick on a very fast lap, set in the fastest first split as we ride on board with the Ukrainian rider up through Arouge and Redillion and flipping back onto the Kamal Strait. Mikhail Chick carrying tons of speed out of the corner onto the back straight. And out of the last corner, Mikhail Chip jumps to the top of the timesheets with a 220 flat. That puts the BMW in first place. Looks like Josh Hook is going out next in qualifying for TSR Honda. What kind of times can the Australian do? And Hook matches Mikhail Chick's time with another 2.20 flat. Just nearly two hundredths of a second off first place. TSR Honda now sits in second place with just five minutes remaining in qualifying. On board with Greg Black as he embarks on his first lap on the number one Suzuki. Third currently sits in fifth position as Black flicks it into Lacombe. Black 
is up nearly a quarter of a second on the BMW's time, putting in the fastest first two splits of this session. The Suzuki rider is pushing extremely hard as we come to the end of the lap. And it looks like third jumps to the top of the time sheets at 2.19.3. That's the first 2.19 of the session and the fastest lap of the weekend so far. What can Yamaha do in the closing minutes of this session? Hanneker's going out for one final swing at pole position. in the session, BMW has one shot left at pole position. What can Marcus Reiterberger do on this final lap? On board with the German rider as he powers out of Malmody. Reiterberger has matched the first two splits on the Yamaha. Only two corners left. Does the BMW have a fast enough time for pole? A 2.19.3. That's only good enough for second place on tomorrow's grid. It's official. Yata's pole position yet again with the BMW in second and Cert in third. Yeah, you know, the qualifying is always difficult. In this moment, I did my 100% and uh, it was for the lab record, so I'm pretty happy. I'm very thankful to my teammates because uh, they helped me a lot throughout this weekend. I did my best and we are happy that the lab record is uh, again for Yamaha. We feel really good, you know, the qualifying today went, went pretty well for, my, for myself. Uh, I got the fastest lap time out there uh, right until the end, until the last minute, and the third rider was Cal out there. And, uh, he broke my dream, eh? <laughs> no, he, uh, he made the fastest lap, so uh, overall I got the second fastest lap out there. My two teammates did a great job all, so we feel really good on the bike. So qualifying today was, um, let's say, up and down. We've had a really fast lap from Greg, and then uh, Xavier and myself had a few troubles. There were some red flags and um, um, some little problems. So let's say we didn't quite fulfill our, our potential. We, I think we both feel like that. Uh, but overall, it's great. We're third on the grid, and we feel you know, confident with the pace for tomorrow. It's race day here in Belgium. Just over one hour before the flag drops. As the riders make their way to the grid, all eyes are on the number seven Yamaha. we've all been waiting for. The riders are all lined up. Who's gonna win? And you're on the run. The Suzuki and Kawasaki rubbing elbows out to the first corner. Number one of Cert leads onto the Kemel Strait, followed by Florian Marino and Josh Hook. On board with Marino in third place. Got the start that Yamaha wanted as they sit in fourth behind the Honda. 
as we end the first stint. It's Sir that leads, followed by TSR Honda, Yacht, Yamaha and BMW. And the two hour mark has just passed as the third riders prepare for their first stints. I believe that it's in recovery because uh, all the lights are on, right and left, four lights on, and the bike is going super slow, like uh, it's cutting everywhere, also in the street. Well, there's a warning on the dash that looks like one of the speed sensors is, uh, has an issue. So the bike's in a kind of a recovery traction control at the moment, which is cutting the bike a little bit too much. It's, it's a safety option, but it's probably hurting our top speed a little bit. So, yeah, may, we hope it's a wheel sensor and not the sensor on the bike. As we approach the three hour mark, Sert still leads, with Yard trading close behind, and TSR Honda another second and a half back. Honestly, we expect a little bit uh, more for for the first part of the race, and uh, yeah, we are still in good position, so there is no stress. But uh, we need to uh, work a little bit more with the electronics to set it up for the condition on the track, which is a bit difficult because we didn't had such a hot track throughout this weekend. But yeah, we are trying our best to to manage this and uh, keeping there. Hopefully, when the temperature drops, we're gonna be same as in Le Mans, more strong, and uh, yeah, then we believe our time will come. Yeah, good, good. Um, just finished my first stint, and uh, everything is going well, mate. Um, <laughs> so far, so good. There's no way to get up. So, just have to keep pushing like this, put everyone under pressure, and we'll see how it goes. As Canaper heads onto the Camel Straight. Oh no! It looks like Canaper's got a problem! Canaper's pulling into the pits, out of second place! Back out onto the track now. 
Young only lost three laps during the repair, but now the Italian rider has dropped to seventh place. Surt continues to lead the race, just over 19 seconds ahead of the TSR Honda. Hours down as we reach the first quarter mark of the race. Sir continues to lead the race with the Honda half a lap back and the BMW close behind. Yacht has made it back up to fourth place, but they are still three laps behind the leaders. As the sun sets here in Spa, we head into the most difficult part of the race, the night. Of course, riding in the night is a different experience because uh, here in Spa we're talking about the track where the average speed is, is uh, 180 km per hour. It's insane. We are used to race in tracks like Le Mans and Boldor where th there is a lot of lighting into the, in, in, in the track and we can see really well. Here it's really dark, so it's, uh, it's for sure more difficult more challenging and the speed, uh, the high speed corners doesn't help at all, but uh, this uh, makes the race even more exciting. Problem. The number one is pulling into the box. It looks to be some sort of issue with the transmission. We had a, unfortunately we had a problem with the gearbox, so it was quite a long repair. So we lost uh, quite a lot of time. Um, yeah, that's just really unfortunate. It can happen. So yeah, disappointing because we, uh, you know, we doing great, um, but let's try and recover and see how we go.
25 minutes in the garage, Cert finally heads back out onto the track. Only now they're in 14th position, 11 laps behind the leaders. Some, some problem that we, we didn't expect so it's a pity because the race was going quite quite well we had good pace both riders so it's a, it's a, it's a pity but the race is not over uh, everything can still still happen but for sure mentally it's uh, different now uh, it's, not, it's not the same but we will fight we will fight until the end and let's see what can happen <laughs> We are now halfway through the race. With the mechanical sustained by Suzuki, Yard has now moved up to third place. BMW occupies second place, but the new leaders are now TSR Honda. Yeah, well, obviously after the issue we had, we had to come into the garage and we lost two laps. Um, we need the race to go for as long as possible. We just need to keep recovering. We need as much time as we can to try and gain back as much time as we lost. So. We're working away on the BMW, We've, we got ourselves back on the same lap as them, so the guys are doing a great job and that's all we can do, stay in it. Well, the tires are working great in the night, especially. So we are we are really happy. And uh, we we lost something in the beginning of the race, but uh, we we are catching slowly, little by little. We are catching them, and the uh, race is still long. The number seven is about to unlap itself past the Honda. Oh, something's flown off the number five. It looks like a broken chain. That's a long track back for Gino Ria. They are going to lose valuable time waiting for that bike to get back. from Spa, we are just about three quarters of the way through the race. With a long pit stop from TSR Honda, Yacht Yamaha is now in second place, with the BMW in first. Caught up to BMW and they are battling for the lead!
Looks like spots of rain is starting to fall. Well, to start a 24 hours uh, is uh, always uh, difficult to know what is going to happen. If it's going to rain or not, if it's going to be dry, sunny, hot temperature. So we, we don't know what to expect, but we have to be ready for everything. And uh, in this uh, specific circuit, we do not have any experience on the wet conditions. So it's going to be tough if doing the, the race is going to rain because uh, we, we have zero experience. So we, we will have to adapt very quickly. Uh, we have to hope that the engineers did a good work on the engine brake and traction control on the electronic of the bike because this is a key point. Of course, this is going to affect the whole strategy of the race because uh, probably some, some of us will have to do double stints because the, the, the condition of the track are changing so quickly. So it's uh, not, not going to be easy and uh, for sure uh, we, we will not have a fixed plan. It's only just started to rain, but Caniper has taken the lead and extended the gap to 30 seconds. What's this? The number seven Yamaha is smoking and falling off. Unbelievable luck for Yacht as they are surely out of the race. On board the number one as we head down the Kemal Strait into Lacombe. Oh, Greg Black goes down. The number one Suzuki has lost the front. What a chaotic several minutes it has been. Sud was effectively in second place when they went down. Time will tell what position they end up in after these repairs. Oh no, Di Meglio's gone down too. TSR Honda has crashed out of second place. Can this race get any crazier? Damage looks minimal for the Honda as he's released back out. It looks like Sirt has been released at the same time. This will be the battle for third place. Unfortunately, I think this is the end of Yacht's 24 hour spa campaign. This is endurance racing. in the race. BMW leads by a whole eight laps ahead of Tati Team Behringer. The fight everyone has their eyes on is for third place. It's Surt v TSR Honda. It's winner takes all between the two as the laps begin to count down. Oh, a big moment for Gino Ria as he touched the front. That gives third place to the Suzuki rider. Coming out of Stavelot on the penultimate lap, the Suzuki leads in front of the Honda. Both riders power through the final sector, weaving through traffic. Too wide as they slide through turn 17. Simeon leads coming into the final chicane before it's one lap to go. The Belgian holds firm in third place. We're headed on to the final lap. We has got a great drive out of the last corner. Coming into the braking zone. Who's going to head in first? It's the number five Honda who makes the pass. No matter though, it's been BMW who have been consistent the whole race. BMW wins 2022, 24 hours of Spa. Coming into the final chicane, TSR Honda looks to have secured third place. In third place is Gino Rear, followed by Xavier Simeon on the Suzuki. A solid result for Honda and a tough weekend for Sir. Congrats to BMW on a stellar victory.